Hey guys, today I want to show you what the MRT executable is and why it is causing high CPU load on some machines. MRT stands for Malicious Software Removal Tool and is actually a beneficial Microsoft tool. The tool gets updated every month by Microsoft and can actually help to protect your PC from malicious software. If you want to open the tool on Windows 8 or Windows 7, you simply hit the Windows key plus R to open run and you enter mrt.exe and hit enter again. You may have to confirm a prompt and there you go, you should have the tool open. If the tool is causing any problems on your system, like uh, high CPU load, the first thing you want to do is open up the Windows Explorer, uh, click into the address bar and simply enter percentage windier percentage backslash debug backslash mrt dot block and hit enter. You should get a nice overview of all scans the tool has done so far. Scroll to the very bottom to see the most recent entries. In the best case scenario, you should only see return code 0, which means it has not found any suspicious files or software. So if you see any other return codes in the file, you should uh, look it up online. Uh, and it may be causing some of the high CPU load, obviously. The next thing you want to do is uh, download a software called Malwarebytes. Simply enter Malwarebytes into Google. And you should uh, perform a full scan on your entire system uh, to find any suspicious files, viruses, trojans. The last thing you can try is to open up the explorer and go to see a Windows System 32 and then simply search for MRT and then delete the file uh, MRT. You may have to provide administrative permissions. And you should be good. After deleting the MRT executable, you will get a message on every bootup that this file is missing. So you have to remove it from the auto run uh, bootup sequence. So you have to download the tool called Auto Runs for Windows by SysInternals. Please keep in mind that you should only delete the file if you can't find any other way to fix your high CPU load because it's uh, essentially a system file and it's never really a good idea to delete a system file. So that's basically it. If you have any questions, feel free to post a comment.